The CEO of Ford, who is, his name's Jim Farley, he's talked recently about his relationship with Elon Musk. Now, a lot of people hate Elon Musk, but clearly Jim Farley's not one of them. And this is the reason why. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking, guys. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford. He, he's really the guy who initiated the entire... We should, we should probably thank Jim because he essentially initiated this entire move towards a universal charging standard in America, which was NAX charging or NACS charging. That was Tesla's, basically Tesla's proprietary standard. Now Elon Musk came out and said, this, this should be the North American charging standard. We're going to call it NAX. And really, a lot of people laughed at Tesla. A lot of people laughed at Elon Musk. They said it was never going to happen. I mean, you know, a lot of the major EV websites said that this was just hubris on the behalf of Tes Tesla. It wasn't going to happen. Well, Jim Farley disagreed. And Jim Farley had discussions with Elon Musk. And he initially was the first person to agree to actually put NAX charging ports on Ford's future vehicles and then to get access as soon as possible for Ford vehicles to use Tesla's supercharger network. And the reason Jim Farley did this is he went on a test drive. He actually did a um, like a, a, a road trip in a Ford electric car. He wanted to see what the experience was like and he realized that the charging was a big problem. He thought this is not good enough for customers. We need to change this. So basically, I believe it was his impetus that he went and approached Tesla and he made that happen. Now, General Motors heard about this and General Motors went, well, okay, well, we want to be part of this too. And then all of a sudden, everyone else started to join the network one by one by one. All the dominoes eventually fell. And now we have Tesla's charging standard being the future standard. Now, this, the good thing is it's important to have a standard for all cars to have the same charging capacity, not have different charging stations having different connectors. That's a major pain in the ass. It's not good for consumers. So I've got to say, you know what? Kudos to Jim Farley for making that happen. Now, Jim's also saying that it's very important for Ford to have $25,000 affordable, low priced budget electric cars. I and mean, we all know that Tony Sieber believes that's highly probable, very, very likely by 2030, EVs will be significantly cheaper than internal combustion. And I believe Ford are planning on that happening as well. Ford CEO said he thinks that he and Tesla CEO Elon Musk have a mutual respect for each other with the legacy automaker Head saying he recently texted Musk. So they have each other's phone numbers and clearly they are still keeping in touch. On Monday, in an interview with Yahoo Finance executive editor Brian Sozi, Ford CEO Jim Farley said he and Musk have a mutual respect. And essentially, I believe the media were trying to get Jim from Ford to say something negative about Musk or to say something negative about Tesla. He didn't take the bait. And he just said, no, 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 no. We texted each other recently. And he says he's awaiting some electric vehicle NAX adapters from Tesla. Um, and he, text, he texted Musk about it. So it basically far, Farley's saying, if he wants to get something to happen, if he wants to get a response from Tesla, he just straight away texts Musk or even maybe calls him as well in order to get what Ford needs. When asked how the NAX and Supercharger partnership was going, Farley, well, he said this, it's going well. So far, we really appreciate working with Tesla between the number one and number two players in the country, Farley said in the interview. We think giving our customers access to the Supercharger network is really good. But it's early days. We still need 90,000 adapters, 90,000. Um, the, the guy who was interviewing Ford CEO, he responded by laughing, jokingly asking if Farley thought he would get them eventually. I'm hoping. I texted Elon last night. We'll see what he says, said Farley. When asked about the relationship with Musk, what it was like, Farley focused on Musk Model 3 and Model Y ramps as being important and being something that he's respected comparing them with Ford founder, Henry Ford. I think there's a mutual respect, he said. I think when Elon started scaling Model Y and Model 3, he very much followed the Henry Ford model with the Model T, increasing his utilization of his plant and bringing the cost down for customers as he went mainstream with EVs. I think it's been a largely positive relationship. Now he was asked, uh, Tesla right, he says he was asked if Musk texts him right back, Farley affirmed, saying, yeah, Elon Musk did basically text him right back, saying that the Tesla head was very responsive, likely because the two CEOs respect each other and, and clearly they have um, like a personal friendship. He is really an incredible person, said Jim Farley. 
like he absolutely does, he very much made this decision based on the adoption of EVs in the country. And of course, it's good for him as well. So as you can see here, um, Jim Farley is saying that Musk isn't just doing this primarily just for the benefit of Tesla. He, he believes, he actually does believe that Elon Musk is, it has opened up the charging network also to benefit consumers, not just to benefit Tesla themselves. Guys, what are your thoughts about this? Do you love or hate Elon Musk? Let me know why. Personally, you guys know, I don't agree with everything he says. Some of the things I, I he says, I think, to be honest, I think it, he should just hold back on the tweets. You know, maybe get his brother to say, dude, do you think this is a good idea? Just hold off on them. Tweet less, I, you know, X less, whatever you call it. I personally do cringe a little bit on when I see some of them. But I do think Musk isn't the evil demon that people paint him out to be. I think he's actually not a bad guy. When you're so driven, though, when you're so driven, when you're so um, intelligent, you're living in a different headspace to the rest of us. And the rest of us probably sometimes think, who is that maniac? He's a lion. I'm a tiger. He's very different to me. Therefore, a lot of us will dislike someone who's different to us. I think that's a pretty normal response. But let me know what you think. Thank you for watching.